be lying to you if I said I didn't see this coming. NBA young boy has been arrested once again by the feds. The NBA young boy was taken into custody in Utah today for charges of unlawful activity, procuring and attempting to procure drugs, identity fraud, forgery, possession of controlled substances, and possession of a dangerous weapon. You know how the saying goes, I mean, you could take the thug out of the hood, but you can't take the hood out of the thug. Now, I'm not, well, it is what it is. Don't take that statement the wrong way, but the reason I'm saying that is because he had a second chance. He begged for his mercy. He begged for the judge's mercy. He begged for freedom. He begged for, you know, forgiveness, for him to even go to another state like Utah, right? He went there, and he was still doing nut shit, still showing drugs on the screen, um, uh, uh, um, attacking people verbally, you know, just doing all the same stuff that he was doing if he was in Baton Rouge or L.A. or Miami somewhere. And it comes a point where it's like, all right, and we know this, that dude needs help. Bright young man, makes great music for the people that like it. I don't particularly like his music. But it's like, how many chances does a person get or deserve when it's like, come on, man. You know, and, and you know, um, it's just silly. It, it, at some point, you got to sit back and be like, all right, look, I got another chance. I got another lease at life. Let me just do the right thing. Let me put the drugs down. Let me just, you know, if I got to detox, let me detox. Let me go over here to Utah and sit down and just do my thing so I can be free. I'm living nice still. I can move around a little bit. Whatever I got to do. Why in the hell would I want to be back in a damn jail cell again? We don't have access to none of this stuff that you have access to when you're out in the free world. So, look, man, I don't know where he's going to go from here. He's already on probation. Um, it looks like now, if I was a bet guessing, man, he's probably going to do some jail time. You know, and you look like forgery. Like, what the hell is going on, dog? Forgery? Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I can see about, and we all seen him with the drugs, We, you know, which was crazy because he posted it. So it's like that right there is just a violation. But they was letting it pile up. They was letting it pile up. See how much stuff they can get on them. And that's what they did. They cracked him. So, look, lesson learned, man, I guess. Um, again, we all know that NBA Youngboy is in need of some help. We all know that. But it's just sad that he, you know, was going out like this in this situation. It is very sad. But, hey, man, you, you make your bed, you know. As they say, you, the bed you, you make, you have to, um, you know, lie in. And right now he has to sit in that cell and, you know, beg once again for the mercy of the court. Beg once again for the mercy, you know, um, of the judge to actually let him out where he can be a free man once again. So, look, I'll keep you guys updated as I always do. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace.